Hello my friends, we're together once again. It's very nice to have you with me. I'd like to start by thanking you very much for watching and for all your efforts in the competitions. It's very encouraging to me. Um, today I'm going to do a landscape and uh, you know as well as I do that we live in a very beautiful country. There are thousands and thousands of beauty spots to paint and it would take me five lifetimes to do them all. But I pick one of my favourite today and that is the Lake District. Um, I've done it quite a few times so uh, it's, it's, um, it's an easy one and I would like 50 entries in my competition this week. And so I'd like to thank the people who entered last time some fantastic results, it really was. Right, the colours I'm using today, as you can see here, <coughs> not very much black. There's brown, there's cerulean blue. I need lots of green, lots of yellow, and lots of white, because there's a lot of vegetation about. <laughs> okay, so... Um, Right. I've got a line on my canvas which is that's 11 centimetres from the bottom. Right, let's start with the, the sky. Remember what I said about the light colour first? Tiny spot of blue, a little bit darker. Right, now what I'd like you to do is to start like that across, use the whole side and then gradually we're going to lighten on the way down. Just introduce some more white. Well, that's quite enough. Well, that's we don't need to go right down to the line because I've got some something to go in place here, so that's fine. A bit more. Now we need, uh, we're going on to the hills. Now the, the whole lesson of this video is to show you that things far away are very faint obviously and they lose their colour and as you get nearer and nearer and nearer they get darker and darker and darker and so on. And what happens is if you get it right, if you put it into an art gallery people will stop and look at it. Um, if a painting is flat, people go, oh, don't like that, and go on. But if your painting's got that grip, it will stop them dead. That's what I'm going to try and do today. Right, so we need some hills. And what we use, we need a, a, a nice blue-grey. So let's mix up a grey. You'll need a fair bit of this because it's a lot to do. Yeah. There's a grey there and just a touch of blue. That's what I want. 
right, well. That's a little bit dark. I'll come down with that first one, down to the line. Stroke your brush down to the line. Next one. And can you leave just a space there? Just a space there between the two hills. Now, as they get further away, obviously they're going to get a little bit lighter. So, just a drop more white with that. Again, you see I've just left that little space there. Now there's a lot of detail to go into those hills later on. Wash your brush thoroughly. I've always got a little towel here, just wipe the brush on that, that's fine. Now, we've got to do the lake. So the lake, again, very, very pale blue on the cerulean there. Very pale blue, like that. Now, They've got to come down quite a way. Keep it fairly pale. I've just got enough, I think. See what happens is on here we take a grey like a, a pale grey and you just stroke that in there like that. Same with that one. Right. Now, it's a good idea to um, show that it's water, so a tiny little line along there will be fine. That's all you need, just that. That's fine. There's a lot of detail to go on there a bit later on. Okay, 
Now, we've got to do this part here is all the foliage. This is the, we, we're near to you. So I'm going to use a hog hair brush. That's it, the hog hair. And you pull the green first, like that. Get it nice and stiff on there. Now, I should have put the white first, but never mind. Just a touch of white. And, sorry, I'm jumping the gun here. I'll leave that in a minute. We want a very pale, the whole of this, we want a pale green. I'll get that right in a minute. <laughs> So it goes from there, all the way down, across there, down to there. Now all this is filled in with a pale green. Oh. Right, now <laughs> let's go back to what we should be doing now. Right, as I said, we want to mix here a green, yellow and green mix, like that. Now, with a hog here, you actually stipple the trees like this. Come down quite a bit actually. Like that. A tiny lot more green. No yellow. Now, as we get to this end, it gets smaller. So we take that a little bit smaller like that, down. Like that. Now you can stroke those down like that. Now we can go a little bit darker this time. Just suggest the actual trees themselves.
Right, a bit more. So, right now, I'd like to do a pathway through here. So, this time we have the brown and the white. So, take the white first and look. Drop a brown there, and whoops, a bit too dark. Sorry, <laughs> a lot too dark. That's it. A nice sort of creamy colour, touch of yellow. A bit more. A bit more white. That's what I want. There it is. Now, <clears throat> I want a pathway across there. That's going to a point here, so I'll get a smaller brush. Just bring that Go. <laughs> Do that right, straight. Right. Now. Now we can put in some Taylor Green along here. Just bring it in like that. Now, I just let that dry a minute because um, what I'm going to do, I'm going to put some rocks in here. So, I remember from the original, we need, um, it's a uh, blue grey again, a little bit more white this time. Oh, just not down to there. So 
So the rocks are quite dark on the side, like this. And the light's coming from this side, so we do the top quite light. Like that. And then a pale side. Slightly darker on the side. Go back to our big brush. <clears throat> we can put in some nice details in here. Now as we get closer, you'll see the grass and everything will get just that much darker. Now this side of the pathway will be very dark. Now, with a small brush, we can introduce some different colours into this patch here. Just a touch here and there. That's all it needs, just to brighten it up a little bit. So. Right, now with a tiny brush, you can start putting in a bit of the detail here. As it's closer to her, it will be darker than ever. So that's it. Again, you can put a little bit of shadow along the on here of the trees.
So, and with a really strong, strong green, you can put some details in the edge here. Finer brush. Um, let's put uh, that's better. Just on the other side of the path. Now, I'll just let that little bit dry for a minute and I'll go and finish off up the top. Right, um, that's a grey there. Now, I think we can. Oh, I missed out an island. I mustn't do that, must my friends? I've missed out an island. Oh dear, oh dear. It's here. Not too dark. It's got to be parallel with the bottom of those, right? Now on top of that, put in a few trees. That's what we're going to do. Right here. On top of the island there, there's a, quite a big foliage on there, so... And that's it. Then, while we're about it, we can... Put a little bit of cloud in there. Oh. <laughs> Didn't wash my brush.
has to alleviate that a bit. Oops. Right, mm. no. on the hills themselves they need a very tiny amount of light grey a lot and then also on that side of the um, lake they have um, fairly light but just a suggestion of trees along there Oh, I'm going to put something in special for you. <laughs> I'm going to put in a little bench here for you to sit on and look at the scenery. It could do, actually, there's a, there's a tiny little bit more, I think, would be. Oops, got to be careful. Secret is the washing the brushes, isn't it? Oh, a tiny bit more. Oh, no help. Oh. <laughs> Can you cut it there, right? Okay. Now, I thought um, I'd go back and do some of the little detailing that what I'm doing. Um, this tree here wants a little bit more work on it. Get it a bit higher. It stands out a bit better. That's better. Yeah, I'm happier with that. Now, I think I told you that I, did, I was going to do something for you, so um, I'd like to put a little stall here for you to sit on.
Well, it's like a little bench. It's this side of the this side of the um, pathway. And with a dark brown, put the end of the bench in. Right, now I think what like I said before, we need to put some detail on the, um, on the hills, you don't need a lot, just a few strokes, let's see, there's one there, very pale, just um, hides that. Let's get some longer legs. Right. I think she's done. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoy painting that one. And um, I've... Uh, the winner of the Titanic competition was uh, a lady called Debbie and it was very very well done. That's it. Anyway, next week, next time I see you anyway, I'm taking you back to King Arthur and the Knights of the Round Table and I hope you'll enjoy that. Anyway, keep safe, keep well, sharpen your brushes and we're ready for next time. Thank you very much. Bye.